Hey, hey, what's up, y'all? Uh, you know, sometimes when people who don't use FED think about this program, they think it's really simple. Like, you just kind of plug in, oh, I want a Cobra roll, or I want a Zero G roll, and it just pops right out. And in most cases, that is not true. Uh, most elements require quite a bit of time, as you saw in the last video we did with the Cobra roll. But in some cases, it is true, and the Zero G roll is one of those cases. This is, in fact, so simple to do that I am pretty much doing this in real time right now for you. Uh, so you can see I'm just using the airtime hill that we had in the last episode, which was the Cobra roll. Uh, and if you do not know how to make an airtime hill, I'll link right now to uh, the previous uh, series or the previous episode in which we did do the airtime hill. Uh, but you pretty much do an airtime hill and you incorporate a roll and you're done. So all I really did here was flatten the airtime hill out a bit so it wasn't it didn't have quite that that parabolic peak that we associate with BM rides. Now the, of course it's still parabolic. Uh, it just doesn't quite look so BM-ish. And then uh, all I did was, change the uh, segment right here so that I can put a roll right in the middle of the uh, the zero G moment and you can see pretty much of course we have to fine tune but you see pretty much there it is there out pops the zero G roll uh, so we'll just spend a minute or two here fine tuning that uh, and then that will be it now of course as always I will have a link up to this uh, in the description or and you can download it and take a look at what I did uh, but I think you get the gist of what's going on here. If you if you just have a basic knowledge of FVD, you can see how simple this is to do. So all I'm doing is refining it at this point, just making it a little better. I think I smooth out the, or I make it just a little bit lower uh, so it goes through just a tiny bit faster. And I do that by removing the positive G section that was remaining right here, which is 0.1 seconds, <clears throat> excuse me, of uh, positive G. So I took that out. Uh, and I had to kind of zoom in quite a bit there to get that. And then we're going to fix up the roll so it ends uh, direct or at zero degree roll at the very bottom. And that's pretty much it. So like I said, this is one of those cases, yeah, where it's very simple to do this in, in uh, FED. I've never tried to do this hand building. I, I don't do any hand building at all whatsoever. So I don't know how difficult zero G rolls are to do in hand building, but they are very, very easy to do in FED. That's not always going to be the case. Some things are definitely easier to do hand building, but in this instance, you see that we pretty much came up with a, a very nice zero G roll right here. And of course, if you wanted it to go the other way, you just select the highlight roll and put a negative in front of the value that you have, uh, and it'll just turn the other way. So <clears throat> that's pretty much it for this. You see, it's simple. Uh, as usual, if you have any uh, elements that you want to see that I haven't thought of, I still have quite a few coming up, but if there's anything in particular you want to see, just let me know. I'll be happy to build it for you. The link to this file will be in the comments, as always. Uh, you see right there, too, it maintains the heart line. You can see it's just the perfect parabolic arc. So, uh, But if you need anything, if you want to see anything, let me know. Otherwise, it's going to be it. I will talk to you next time. Take care and enjoy the ride.